and I have some more fun. But right now, let's get these Chocobos to do the nasty. Male, B rank. Female, B rank. Male, A rank. Female, B rank. The only reason why the male Great Chocobo was able to get up to A rank was because his top speed was 104. I could have actually gotten him up to S rank if I would have really played it close to my vest, or close to the vest. But either way, choose a male good Chocobo and a female great Chocobo, and do it vice versa with the good female and great female, or great male, and you will eventually get a green and blue chocobo. Once you have the green chocobos, or once you have them, what I would advise is race the chocobos. While doing the races won't eat up enough time, by the way, I got the green female chocobo out of this, unfortunately. But uh, like, like I was saying about the uh, uh, the Chocobo races won't actually have the, uh, or won't actually have the Chocobo's age enough. Like, whenever you give birth to a new Chocobo, it will end up, uh, whenever you give birth to a new Chocobo, it'll end up being too young for you to be able to breed them together. And it takes about an hour after the Chocobo has been born to actually be able to breed together. Same with Chocobos who have just given birth. Uh, it'll be explained later on once I have the Chocobos up to A rank. And they have to be A rank just like, or they have to be at minimum A rank just like the uh, uh, great and good Chocobos have to be minimum B rank and the uh, Black and Wonderful Chocobos, absolutely no exceptions, have to be S rank. Now then, this was actually a major pain in the ass, and I just eventually off screened it. Like, I wanted to show you could still get a blue Chocobo from the other two Chocobos, but it's. Uh, let me think. It's a 90% chance that you get a green Chocobo from the great male and good female combo. And then whenever you actually get them to breed a blue chocobo, it's about a 80% chance that it'll be female. Which means if you already have a female green chocobo, you're pretty much fucked. But basically, this is why I say save, because if you uh, don't get a blue chocobo, you can just do a hard reset, which is start, select, R1, L1, R2, L2 and you will hard reset and you'll be able to try again. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun freaking stuff. Fuck you, Green Choco. Hard reset. Yeah, this basically went on for a little while. I wanted to be sure to show that you can get blue Chocobos from these guys, just that way, eh, I show some things on screen kind of thing. But more importantly, it's uh, More importantly, it's it, it's just a pain in the ass to do this this early in the game, and quite frankly, it's actually not all that necessary. I mean, by the time that I'm going to be getting to this next boss, I'm going to be already way fucking overpowered for it. I mean, literally, I'm going to be going into that next boss at least level 50 for Cloud, level 53 for Sid, and level 54 for Yuffie. They are really high leveled by the end of this, and it's nuts. But hey, that's a byproduct, and I'll be showing off next scene what materials have been mastered, because during my money grinding, I did get some mastered materials, along with showing you that Sid did also get his level 3 limit break. So I'll be showing that off eventually as well. Fuck you, Green Choco. Hard reset. Yeah, I should have just edited out all of these 
failed attempts at getting a blue Choco, but... Eh. Whatever. You, you, you can get it eventually. Uh, give me a sec, I gotta put up my recording table. Alright, that takes care of that. Ugh. The way that I've been recording stuff since I used my laptop, I can move it closer to the TV where I can hook up my capture card. But I can't quite have my laptop on the floor now, can I? Nah. I'm just going to use one of those stupid TV tray things. Just put it on top of that. Plug in the capture card. I'm good to go. And by the way, to those... Who, oh, yeah, I almost forgot you need to use carbo nuts for these guys. But like I was saying about those who were complaining that I do too much editing in my freaking videos. Especially you, and you know who I'm talking about. Hard, oh, damn it, I missed my chance for hard reset. No, I didn't. Either way, especially you, the jackass that was complaining about me editing out the two to three hour grind of getting Cloud's level three limit break in the very beginning of the game. To that I say, fuck off, I don't have to do Let's Plays at all, and you guys don't have to watch my videos. If I, literally, if I would have recorded the two to three hour grind for the uh, level three limit break, I would have ended up with a video file well over 200 gigabytes, which is more than my computer can hold. My, comp my laptop only has 217 gigs of uh, memory, and most of the time 100, per 100 of that is taken up. But yeah, basically viewers, especially you jackasses that complain that I do too much editing, just think about the logistics. It's much easier to edit out huge chunks than have me fighting the same enemies literally over and over and over again for two or three hours straight. And there we go, I got the blue chocobo, so we unfortunately was email, so edit. Now that I've got the, uh, I was going to show this guy off first. If you come back here and you see him, you can talk to him and you can exchange skill for GP. You can only get up to 100 GP from this guy at a time. He'll randomly appear. I don't know exactly what triggers it, but I'm still quite a ways away from uh, getting the... I'm still quite a ways away from getting the Gil Plus Materia. In fact, I did get the Gil Plus Materia in the Sea House, so pissed that I couldn't get it, but unfortunately I got unlucky with the item, or with the item winnings from the Chocobo races. Either way, I've got both my blue and green up to FA rank. Actually, I've got my blue up to S rank, but uh, I've got them up to at least A rank. And I'd say at this point you can breed them together, but you actually can't because they are still too young. So what I'm going to do is, uh, soon enough it's going to be edited to the live commentary. In which I'll just be turning off my voice or microphone for this commentary that I'm doing right now. Let the live commentary section play through and then turn my audio back on. But, in the meantime, just going back to uh, show you what happens if you try to breed them right after they give birth or before they are old enough. And like I said, it takes about an hour for them to become old enough. Once again, I do want to, I do advise saving on the other hand, viewers, because you want to be sure you get the opposite sex of whatever the wonderful chocobo is. In other words, I need to get a female black chocobo.
Welcome back, viewers. Um, yeah, this is going to be the live commentary section of this uh, of this scene. As in a clip earlier, you saw we still need to kill some time for the blue and green chocobos to get old enough to where they can be bred together. So, what I do to kill this time is, let me go on and go back into here, because I'm going to need to grab the blue, no, the green chocobo. Let me, uh, get that switched back to normal, that way I can actually choose one for riding. Uh, this section that's coming up, it, uh, it, there are two ways you can get to that section. Uh, something to note, I have my blue chocobo to S rank, you don't need it to be at S rank, but, yeah, it's at S anyways, I'm trying to get as much money, or GP as I possibly can, and my capture card's lagging a little. Nope. Nope. No. And, get on, no, land. Get on, get on, good boy. All right, there we go. And now that we've got the green chocobo, we can get up to a very mysterious place near uh, near Cosmo Canyon. Normally, I save this until after I get the uh, get to the green chocobo. So just land, and the green chocobo can run up these mountains, which means the green chocobo now allow us entry to here. Let me just reconfigure this back to my normal controller setup, and I would definitely 100% advise saving before coming into this area <laughs> for a big fucking reason. The enemies in this area are very fucking nasty for my current level. Now then, let's see if I can remember how you do this. I think you want to grab the frog. Froggy, come on. Get the frog, no. Get the frog, there we go. And nope, I went the wrong way. Absolutely. Bullocks. Diablo. Those guys hit fucking hard. I wanna just drop that down there. Grab one of them. Drop you closer. Grab one of them. Drop you closer. You don't wanna get it too close to the frog. Because uh the frog will end up eating the bug. So drop it. God damn it! Uh, okay, these guys I can actually fight. Where is it? Oh, what? Might as well show off Dragoon. And go on and have you pull out Phoenix just to show it off. For some reason, it summons that sea monster, which then steals a very extremely tiny bit of health. It's actually kind of a completely useless summon, or completely useless, but it needed to be shown off anyways. And this is the Phoenix summon. What it does is, if you've got a dead party member, it'll fully revive them, and it does damage. Not too terribly 